Hey everybody, I wanted to go back into um, the drawing and how I'm composing my flower arrangement picture. From this photograph that I chose, I am drawing three of these flowers. For your composition, you wanna do the same thing. Unless you have a flower that is a rose or something that's really, really, really complicated and it has a lot of petals. And if that's the case, you can do one, but you want it to take up the whole picture. I don't want a little flower in the middle or over here, over there. I want the whole thing filled up to make that good composition. So here I have one that I used color with and I started going into the leaves. And then over here, I drew this basic shape. This basic shape is going to turn into this flower. So what I've started to do is look at all these shapes. You can already see this one needs to be foreshortened. Foreshortened means it's going back in space. So try to duplicate this shape, make it shorter than I had it. Then I'm gonna take the one next to it. I'm looking at this negative space. around in and down and you'll see that I'm not staying within this initial circle I made so I'm gonna erase that and that it's just a guideline to start my flower it's easier to start with something than nothing I was always told that it's always easier to start with something versus a blank paper all right so I'm thinking that it's pretty much accurate. So I'm gonna to jump to this side. I'm gonna look at this negative space and you're gonna see that I'm not perfect with this either. So this one comes off. My picture plane right here comes off and then restarts down here somewhere. And then I'm trying to see, compare these two parts. This does come slightly lower. And back up towards that center. So it's like putting together a puzzle. Then we have this one here. You can see that we have this one here and this negative space. So I'm gonna look at that negative space and again I went outside of the initial circle that I drew and that's okay. That's what I want. When it comes all the way up to this side of this one. So it comes all the way up to there. I'm gonna go to my picture. I can back off here a little so you can see more. So it's doing something like that. And then, of course, this flower petal here is coming off the side here and around and around up to this area. After you've done this initial drawing, you can change it up some. Um, I'm noticing that my leaf now is in the wrong place from what I'm doing. So I'm going to erase that. If you do this drawing once, or if you think you're going to erase a lot and you want to do it more than once so that you don't have all these erase marks on your final composition, then do it once on a piece of computer paper. Put it in your window and use your window, the window in your home like a light box, and transfer it to a good paper so that you have a nice clean image. All right, and now I'm looking at this and I feel as though I want this petal here to be a little bigger. It's looking a little small. All right, and now I'm ready to shade that part. So this, so every time I make something, I start with a basic circle or I try to get that basic shape. This one's a little flatter here. 
And I just keep adding and adding and adding and adding all of these. Here's my flower here, there's a leaf. It's about that far away from bud, my flower bud. Make it a little bit bigger just so that it's more visible. And so from here, like with the others, when you start to color, you're just gonna look for the shadows and use your complementary color. And so basically this is how you start this. You choose one of the pictures. So you were supposed to take three pictures and I gave you comments if you sent them to me and let you know which ones I thought were best or there might've been two that I liked. It's all gonna be about how you're gonna use your colors and how you use your color mixing. Um, and then you do wanna pick one of them. Now, sometimes we can't get our flowers close enough together. So if you have to push them closer together to make your composition more full, you can do that. You don't have to use exactly what's going on. So you can see here, I did that. I put the, I made these flowers bigger on my picture so that these were closer together and there wasn't so much negative space. So you can change that if you want to. Just make sure that the sun is going in the same direction so you're not having the sun going this way on this flower and that way on that flower. You want it to all have that same direction of sunlight. So if you have any more questions, just ask. Um, but yes, you should choose one and you're to fill your paper with one of the pictures that you took.